What's going on, guys? Vic BP back for another Game Case Arcades video. The Shingu Hadouken 40 Tower by Beast of a Bar Top has officially landed in California. We're talking shipping on this video. Cowabunga! Let's kick shell! Pizza power! Now, granted, I'm a little late. I've been super busy. It is the holiday season. It is arcade holiday season all day. I've been slacking on the videos because I have to finish these orders before Christmas. Again, I've been way too busy. Um, but on this one, we're going to be talking about shipping. Uh, in all honesty, right now, today is December 8th. Um, Eugene has had his bar top. Um, I just want to discuss the process when it came to shipping. Um, big things to keep in mind when it comes to shipping. And mostly going to be discussing about pricing when it comes to shipping. Now, again, if you guys don't know, you guys can see the beast of a bar top for Eugene. What a guy. That guy. We still talk. Amazing guy. Amazing dude. 40 terabytes. Shinko Hadouken build. My first ever 40 terabyte PC in a bar top shipped cross country. I've never done it before. His build is my first ever build that has been shipped with a PC in it with the, the magnitude and the game count on it. It's it's just insane for that build. So be sure to check out the playlist on that because you'll see all the videos on that. Now, the big thing I can't keep stressing enough, I say it on the website, I put it everywhere because I do get a lot of you know requests and questions. And the biggest thing is, hey, Vic, how much does it cost for you to send me a bar top to Florida, to Oakland, Ohio, to Washington, D.C.? And again, the big thing is shipping. Shipping is never included in my prices. It never will be. It's labeled in big print on the on like the quotes that I send out. Pricing will never be included. From my experience with Eugene's build, I knew a little bit when it comes to shipping. But keep in mind, there's a lot of factors that come into play when you talk about shipping. You got crates. You got the sizes. You got the weight of these things. It's there's a lot of factors. The distance, how far it's going from where you're picking it up. There is so many factors that come into play when it comes to shipping. Um, again, keep in mind, I am a one man team. I'm a one man army. Um, I don't have a, you know, loading dock. I don't have a, a, a center. I don't process or make enough cabinets to be able to make a deal with UPS and say, Hey, pick this up and ship it whenever I want. I'm not at that magnitude learning and talking to other business owners. Basically they say, Vic, I cut a deal with UPS saying, $150,000 a year ship my stuff. You know, I have to give you a minimum of $150,000 to order. I am nowhere near that magnitude. So again, when it comes to shipping, basically on my end, it's me shipping it like I'm shipping furniture to a family member. I don't know. It's just me alone. So again, keep that in mind when it comes to shipping. There are ways to save on shipping, but let's just go slow because I'm a little bit bouncing around right now. If you guys don't know, and you've probably seen the videos on Eugene's build, Eugene's build, I did something very unique. And I, I basically did it off of the show Shipping Wars, where I contacted you ship. Um, I, it, I took about two weeks just to figure out and research shipping scenarios for Eugene's bar top. I went to UPS directly. I went to FedEx directly. I found a website called like FreightCarrier.com that basically will try to find me the cheapest way. And then I went with you ship. Um, shipping wars, basically it's you ship. There's a bunch of people that go on it and they bid on it. From my experience, it was nothing like that at all. That show, I thought it was like the show. It's nothing like that, at least from my experience. And again, what I'm saying right now, I probably will never do ever again when it comes to shipping. I will never use you ship. It kind of sucks because it was like, I had big high hopes on it and you know, it was my first experience. It sucked as it was awful, and I probably will never do it again. I'll give people the option for it, but I probably will never do it again. Long story short, when I was basically the first, I never created an actual cabinet. I created that bar top like a bomb. I, it was like as if it was an expensive piece of sculptured china glass. Uh, I love it because I'm going to show you guys a screen grab of Eugene's like convo with me on Facebook. And he even said, like, damn, Vic, you packed this thing well. I mean, I, this, that couldn't, that build could not, I, I couldn't risk anything. I mean, any little slight movement, the biggest thing that got me worried with that shipment was the graphics card. I, I, it wasn't even, 
like bolted in. Um, I had to make sure that graphic card wasn't going to shake in transit or else it would have really fucked up everything. Um, but basically it got there safe. Again, I packed it so that nothing can happen to it. And I'm just happy it landed. He sent me a video of the boot up and I just got so excited and a big relief off my shoulders because it booted and that was all I needed to know that it was perfectly fine and safe. Now, again, first time I ever created it, that crate was kind of heavy. Um, I would estimate it probably cocked in at maybe 150 to 170 pounds. Um, again, I went very hard with it, meaning I wanted to make sure that nothing was going to break through it or it could have been damaged in transit. I could have just imagined if I did an upright. But long story short, again, I made the crate. I measured it. Once I had the crate done, I called up companies. I called up FedEx. I called up UPS. Again, I called up really the, um, the shipping kind of person. Um, there was a one company that could find all carriers and, and find me the best rate. Um, really great person. I don't remember the name of the website. And then again, I went with UShip. First one was UPS, and I think I would use UPS for now on ever because UPS is UPS. They're pretty good um, as far as time frames. I sent Robbie's PC via UPS. That thing took like a week to get. It was perfect tracking info. It was all there. I would definitely use UPS. Spoke to UPS. UPS said, Vic, listen, it's going to cost 250 bucks alone just to get a tractor trailer to my house which is where I build these things and pick it up with a forklift and it needs the lift gate and all that. It's just going to cost 250 just for that. Then it's going to also cost another 250 for Eugene's side. If Eugene wanted that thing delivered at his driveway, you got to pay the lift gate. That's 500 bucks alone. Me right now, I do have a pickup truck. I did have the option of saving 250 bucks by bringing it to a UPS loading dock. And I would have saved 250 bucks. Worse, I mean, in all honesty, soup to nuts, if I didn't take the loading dock on my end because I want to save the customer money, it would have costed 850 bucks to ship that bar top. Keep in mind, it is going from New York to California. That is cross country. The price I'm telling you right now is from New York to California. I don't know what it would cost from New York to Maine, New York to Florida. I don't know. That's the very difficult thing when it comes to shipping. I don't know anything about that stuff. Basically, I just contact the companies and you will pay them directly. I don't get any cut out of that. Shipping is shipping. I will literally give you the receipt. I even did it with Robbie. I do it with all my, my, my stuff that I ship, control panels, NES. I will literally send you a picture. Like my mini NESs, I usually ship via um, uh, uh, United States Postal Service because it's cheaper. I literally go there, put your address in, I take a picture of it, then you text me and say, hey, Vic, yes, the price is good, go. That's the process as far as USPS and anytime I ship. So I did the same thing with Eugene. I even sent them the text messages and basically the emails of you know UPS saying, hey, listen, it's going to cost almost about 850 bucks for you to get this thing. And so on. I'm trying to save everybody, everybody money. I get that. It's great. The carrier, the carrier person, they were going to give me like some company. It came out to like 750 bucks. Um, again, it was $100 cheaper than UPS, but I just didn't like the fact that it was basically going to be picked up from my house and then bought to like a facility, taken off the truck and then picked up again and then bought somewhere. It was a lot of on and off with that carrier. Um, that was another big thing. Well, look, I'm going to talk about you ship now. Watching the TV show Shipping Wars, I was under the impression that, okay, somebody's going to come pick this thing up in my driveway and take it from my house and go straight out to California, no stops, just like the TV show. Maybe this person that we picked, it just didn't work that way. It kind of got me upset because I have all the messages that it was supposed to work that way. Uh, and then when it came time for the actual pickup timing, it was a little bit of a nightmare. Anyway, again, you ship basically, I put the ad out, pictures of the bar top, the weight, the dimensions on it. And I only had about maybe two people that hit me up and said, hey, you know, they basically not bid on it. It wasn't even a bid. The guy messaged me and said, hey, I'll take it. I'm going to offer you X amount. Um, so one company, which was 
uh, should I drop the name? Yeah, screw it. It's called Good Guy Movers because I'll be honest, I'm never going to use them again. Good Guy Movers, they basically said, hey, Vic, I will ship it out for, uh, it was like five seventy five, dollars And I was like, whoa, five seventy five dollars to eight fifty. dollars let's talk. Um, five seventy five dollars was the final deal. I had to pay like 40 bucks to you ship, so it came out to like six twelve, dollars something like that. But all in all, six twelve dollars is what Eugene had to pay. Um, I mean, let's say you're talking 240 bucks savings. You know, who's not going to jump on that? So basically, from my understanding, when I said to the guy, um, I said, I want it picked up and then I want it sent directly to California. Like you shouldn't ever drop it off. It should never leave it. Because again, my biggest thing I was stressing with that build was the graphics card. That graphics card, I mean, I mount, I, I didn't mount it. It was, it was too far for me to put a screw in. It, 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 was, it was floating. But again, I basically packaged it so it shouldn't move at all. Um, guy said, yes, I'm not going to, it's never going to come off my truck. I said, okay, awesome. Let's, let's, let's do it. Um, basically I send money to you ship. It's like a, it's like a middleman money goes to you ship. They won't release it to the company until the company actually delivers it. So we made the deal. I don't know the exact date. I'm going to rough this. Um, actually no, it was before Halloween, October 1st, I made the deal. Uh, and they were scheduled to pick up like October 5th. Um, I asked them, uh, they took my number, they took Eugene's phone number. I said, okay, pick it up October 5th. When will Eugene receive it? I will talk to Eugene. I'm the company out. They're going to talk to Eugene and discuss a date. Eugene hits me up. He goes, Vic, they said November 7th. Like November 7th. You said October, October 5th to November 7th. I didn't understand it. I was like, it's not going to take a month to, to drive. I call up the company and said, what the hell's happening? So they go, what we do is that we, on the first day of the month, we send a tractor trailer out to California. And I said, what do you mean? So they're like, yes, we will take your freight and we're going to hold it in our facility until it moves November 1st. And I was like, I don't want that. I'd rather, I'd rather keep it at my house. Uh, you're going to keep it in your facility. Who knows? You're going to get a flood. I don't trust it. So I said, okay, we'll pick it up October 31st, Halloween, whatever. So they picked it up. Like off the bat, I was like, this isn't really what I wanted. Um, once they said that, they're like, oh, it's going to go to a facility. And I'm like, this isn't what I agreed on. I wanted it to go from one place. I didn't want it to leave the truck. It should never have left the truck. So long story short, I mean, again, that it is what it is. We made a deal. Even during that whole process, I was waiting for somebody else to bid on it. They didn't do it. So what happened was basically once they came, they, they came Halloween or the day after Halloween, November 1st, they came, they picked it up. I signed off and basically then you ship gets a notification that they picked up the shipment um, from me. I sent to you ship. They picked it up. I even sent pictures. I took everything like that. The bill of lead. You learn so many things. The original ship date was, should have been like November 7th. All of a sudden, I mean, Eugene was like, Vic, they said November 7th. I'm going to take off of work. Great. Awesome. November 5th comes no communication. And I even read like the, the reviews. It, it, no communication. I mean, you're talking two days before you're supposed to ship it. Call the guy. Figure out what time and stuff. November 6th hits nothing. November 7th hits nothing. I'm in a panic. I'm like, where, the, where did this bar top go? I luckily had the direct phone number to it, to, to the person. Um, November 8, November 9 comes. I'm like panicking. I'm contacting you ship. And then all of a sudden the lady calls me and she goes, oh, Eugene's going to get it November 14th. It's like November 14th. It, I, it, was, I, it really pissed me off because, you know, Eugene took off of work. They agreed up on a date. And Eugene, luckily with the, his patience, he was like, Vic, what are you going to do? I got to wait. November 14 comes. We no, I, November 13 comes. No communication. Nobody called. Hey, we're coming tomorrow. Be there 9 a.m. Nothing. Eugene now is like texting me. I'm in a panic. He's calm. I'm in a panic. I'm like, where, where is it? This lady goes, oh, the tractor trailer broke down. And you don't tell me that because that, that just tells me that I'm, I'm even more scared like that. The person had mechanical issues. He'll be there tomorrow. Tomorrow comes. Still not there, still no communication. I'm like, where is my bar top? Where did this thing go? 
the track day trail is going to get fixed. I promise it's going to be there like on the 18th. And this is where it really sucks. I mean, it's out of my hands. Like, I, that's why I hate, I, that's why I work alone. I, I, I have to control everything. Like, if I'm not doing it, it it's a disaster. If, if it's not in my hands, I can't, I can't help. So hearing this person, you know, talking to Eugene, I didn't like it. it customer service was not there. And it really pissed me off because Eugene would send me screenshots. And I'm going to go to Facebook and show you it. And like he, th this person's telling Eugene, like, be patient. Eugene's like, yo, I'm already like two weeks in. How much more patient? Luckily, the guy didn't like go off because I would have been pissed. And that's what really sucks is that it wasn't in my hands. I don't know these people. I don't work with these people. And it just it doesn't look good on my end. And it really pissed me off. It, it was just a bad experience altogether with the U-ship. I will never do it. Now, here's the crazy thing. It came, let's say, the 16th, right? On the 15th, um, the company notified U-ship that they picked up my cabinet, my, my package. They, they literally said, like, item picked up. And then sure enough, like 12 hours later, they marked it deliver. And that's how they got, like, a five-star rating because they have fast shipping. And I'm like... I can't, I'm, I'm on a whole thing with U-Ship. You guys have no idea. I'm going to lower my screen real quick. I'm going to just see if I could load up our Facebook stuff here. Um, I'll blur out the screen. I don't want to show anything personal. Um, but basically, I do want to show off a couple of things, especially with screenshots that I do have. Um, I should have made sure that, oh, you guys don't even see it because it's still on me. All right, so I'm going to share my screen real quick. Just going to show you real quick. So first thing off the bat, I can't really see myself, is this is the, the van that came to pick up the bar top. Um, no loading dock, no, no lift gate at all. It was literally a van. Um, so I took, I just want to show real quick like, a couple of things that you could see when it came to communication. Uh, any iPhone is Eugene. So you could see like here, like, hey, my driver had some mechanical issues. He'll be arriving in California at 9 p.m. Uh, Eugene also had it like the day it came, which was a Friday, he was going away for the weekend. So we were also in a panic. We're like, oh my God, these guys are going to drop this thing off while he's away. It, it was, it was a huge thing. Um, you can see here, like, I apologize. We'll be there tomorrow. Mechanical issues. It's just the communication was not there and it really pissed me off. This right here was, was what really kind of ticked me off because the lady said, please be patient. And again, Eugene, awesome dude. It's just like, how much more patient can you be? I personally would never say to someone, please be patient like that, especially when they know that they're in the wrong. Um, I don't even care if I expose anybody's phone numbers. I'll just blur it out. Um, this is my screenshot. Anything green was my screenshot. Um, let's just see real quick. Yeah, see, six, at 6 p.m. the day before, you know, I'm even saying, like, you've got to keep us updated. You know, got to let them know no more details. Um, she goes, yeah, it's very difficult, blah, 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 blah. So, sure enough, Friday, it's 2 o'clock, there's no updates. And then, look, the driver should be there at 2 p.m. It, it, I was like, please, this thing has to get there today. Like, don't play any games. It's got to get there. Um... This is 11 a.m. California time. It was already 2 o'clock, uh, which didn't really make too much sense. Um, and then sure enough, they messaged that the driver is 25 minutes away. So if you look carefully here, 11 a.m., it's already 2 o'clock New York time. Maybe she meant 2 o'clock um, California time now that I see that, so I won't talk about it. Anyway, it officially landed in his driveway, like... Thank God it was there. Uh, he even sent me a picture of the trailer that it came in. This. Um, so that's what dropped it off. So as you can see, it went from one van to an area and then a, a freight center or whatever. It was just too much bouncing. It, it kind of really it ticked me off. It really upset me. Um, but basically, he got it in his house. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, I'll blur out everything. And there's the final product. He has a stand. He did buy a stand on his own. And I was just happy to see that. I was happy to just see that exactly how I sent it. You could even see the Mayflash bar up top is in uh, the Mayflash bar. The, the Ultimark um, aim track bar is perfectly fine. 
the volume rocker was up there. It, it just, I was relieved to see it up there. Um, he had to call a friend over. Um, this is basically, basically them unpacking it. Even something like, Vic, you really packed this thing well. Um, basically following the guide on how to unfreight it and all that. So, again, it was amazing to see it. That's him opening it. That's exactly how I sent it. I shrink wrecked the hell out of that cabinet to make sure nobody was playing games and opening it and closing it. And I was just happy to see it. He basically had it up. This is the moving blanket I wrapped the cabinet in. So he's like, oh, thanks for the blanket. It keeps the dust away. So it's kind of cool that he could still use it. But it definitely was an awesome thing to see. Big thing I said, please send me a picture of the inside of this cabinet because I wanted to make sure no cables got disconnected. But I was very happy to see that the actual graphics card was intact. That really got me excited to see that. Um, he was excited. He didn't know I put this little um, USB um, splitter thing, um, the USB hub, I should say. He took off the little rubber thing that was here on the graphics card. It was stable. It was fine. Very nice. I was set up. That's the keyboard and mouse that I gave him. Any PC builds for the future, I will always give the, the, the actual keyboard and mouse. Here's him basically turning it on. So we have power to the screen, which got me excited. And then the big thing again, this is him just like pressing the power button on the top. Uh, right at this point, I was like, oh my God. But then I saw the Edge logo, which was great. And then you're going to see basically Eugene's uh, arcade with the Ryu and Pen on deck and it just got me very excited to see all of that. So there, once I saw that, that was it. Basically booting up because it's got a Windows update going on, but that is a-okay. He loaded up a PC game. Uh, he loaded, like randomly, he was just like, Vic, I, I just turned on, I'm just gonna load up some. So here he is, at least in hyperspin, so we know it's a-okay. Uh, and I think he loaded up Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yep. And that was it. That was the biggest relief. Um, he does have to junk the crate. You have to just kind of destroy it. Uh, but basically, it was just a big relief to see it there. Um, again, lesson learned. U-ship is not... I'm not going to be doing U-ship ever again. It, it never will happen again. Um... I, I even said it. I would I would have rather paid the extra two fifty and known that he would have gotten it the next seven or eight days. Um, it it was just it was just rough. Again, I would never use U ship. It's I, I had high hopes on it. Maybe I should have used a different you know company, a different shipper. But I only got two hits. The other person wanted like nine hundred bucks. It was we went cheap, and that's what you get. Uh, you know, luckily it, it made it to him. The company said to me, you know, yeah, communication. Yeah. But it got to him and it didn't break. Right. And I was like, well, you know, they got me there. What can you do? Um, but basically again, just to talk about shipping, I will never use you ship again. I'll give you the option. You, you know, we'll talk, we'll see, but I thought it was like the TV show. Maybe it is for other things, but on my experience, it just wasn't that um, again, just a little heads up when it comes to shipping. I don't know shipping prices. I heard that the time of day or the month does matter too. A lot of factors come into play when it comes to shipping. Just keep in mind with me and my pricing. I don't include shipping because I have no idea. I'm not a shipper. But there you have it as far as discussing shipping. It's really kind of a story about Eugene's shipment. But again, I learned along the way when it comes to shipping, I will be using UPS or FedEx. Um, I'd rather use a real actual, you know, company uh, than a no name brand company. So just keep that in mind. Stay tuned for more videos. Again, Eugene, your bar top is there, man. Enjoy it. I will see you guys in the next one.